hello guys so i am finally getting this video up for y'all thank y'all for being patient so how i did this i launched Cri my cricut studio on my computer and this is just from the previous ones that i made and so i just went over it switched it out to um the ones that i'm currently making in this video and so what I was doing is trying to make sure that it didn't pass the six on there because I wanted to make sure that they would fit on my envelope. click make it and they come jumbled this is how they're they would print out if I were to leave it like this so I'm just going through and rearranging it so that once I do send it through the machine it won't cut the way that it looks on here corner we hit continue and then it's gonna take us here to tell us what to do next and so I'm just slicing up some vinyl and I realized that I wasted a lot of vinyl in here y'all so I apologize gotten a little bit more of a grip on it now this was my very well this was the second time because the first time I made the other ones but this was my second time but I kind of know how to do it a little bit more now <laughs> So then we're just gonna go ahead and send the mat through the machine and press go. And now we cut. I will not put y'all through listening to this machine cut. I mean, it's super loud. Uh, it doesn't bother me when, you know, you're in a groove, but just to put that on this video, it's like nails on a chalkboard. And I do want to note that um, it that percentage doesn't go that fast. I did speed the video up just for the sake of not making this 28 minutes long like usual. <laughs> just gonna unload the mat and um, turn off the machine close it up and then start weeding I believe that is the appropriate name um, this is how it looks before I start this is where I noticed that I wasted a whole lot of um, vinyl because all of that on the right side of the mat is just going to get thrown away which is extremely wasteful i should have measured it out more <sighs> just i'm so hurt by wasting that because trust me i try to keep even the smallest of pieces just because i know that it's gonna be used in the future but um so now i'm just taking my little tool here and just weeding out the insides of the letters <music> hate relationship with this transfer paper and it's mainly because this stuff is you know it's on a roll so it's it's got its shape on a roll if it was like in flat packages which they probably do sell them that way I just got a whole bunch of this stuff on rolls so yay <laughs> but I'm just trying to measure them out based on the size of the um, actual 
name vinyl. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. And then um, cut it to size just so that I don't um, waste too much of it. All the little pieces that weren't used, I did save them. And so this was the hardest part before I realized to just tear it a little bit. It took me, I cut out a lot of this. It took me like five minutes to get that first piece off and just taking that little, um, little tool and flattening it down, putting that transfer paper on there and trying to make sure that there's no bubbles in it. <laughs> I don't even really think it matters because you're going to be taking the transfer paper off, but just so that it'll be easy to, uh, put on your item that you want to put it on. There's no air, air bubbles or anything. So let's make some magic happen. I think we're starting with hair. Okay. So yeah, take that transfer paper off, position it on your item and then use your tool to try to make it as flat as possible and then this is where i learned that you have to have patience you know i'm a very impatient crafter <laughs> so i want I, I it's not that i want immediate results but i want them as fast as possible but this will humble you okay if you want it to be right you got to make sure that it is right it's short small pulls you know not completely straight across and there we have our first envelope or pouch i have a tendency of calling them envelopes with their pouches it all of the pouches that you guys have grown to love over the last couple months this is how I made them very easy I used vinyl transfer paper my Cricut machine the Cricut cutting or the Cricut maker studio I believe that's what it's called on my computer and just went to town um, I will be glad when I learn how to do more with this machine but if you guys have any questions let me know everything that I use will be in the description below and I see you guys in my next video